What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host Warren Thompson and today we have some really, really cool details about what is going to be happening in Deadpool 3. It looks like we might know who one of the main villains are and this ties directly into the Illuminati from the 838 universe that we visited in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. There's also a rumor going around that if true could potentially be insane just ridiculously cool and it involves the fantastic four specifically jessica alba returning as the character the potential for deadpool 3 right now is just absolutely insane and right now the biggest report that we've heard about deadpool 3 you know besides hugh jackman returning as wolverine is that deadpool and wolverine will visit a universe in which the x-men are in charge they rule earth above the humans the humans do what they command them to do and this is at the rule of Magneto. But like I mentioned, it ties into the 838 Illuminati that we met in Multiverse of Madness. So we'll break down everything you need to know about the recent report in this video. Also, if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos and so you can enter our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, and some DC items. Winner gets to pick one item and we pick a winner at the end of each month. So we'll first dive into a new villain report for Deadpool 3. Not going going to be the main villain, but one of the main villains of the film. From what we've gathered from multiple reports and rumors and actual facts about the movie, Deadpool and Wolverine are going to be traveling throughout the multiverse. If we go by some previous reports, they're doing this to actually cooperate with the TVA. If they're multiverse jumping, it's very clear that they are breaking some rules and probably creating some branch timelines that the TVA and Mobius definitely do not want to happen. So it could be a similar situation to what Loki was. Instead of simply pruning him and erasing him from existence, they offer him a deal to help them. That's what we're looking at here. Deadpool does that, gets captured by the TVA, they offer him a deal. So it looks like he might be going to multiple different universes, which is why there could be multiple different villains. Now, the villain that is being reported today is that Emma Corrin, the actress Emma Corrin, is going to be portraying Cassandra Nova in Deadpool 3. And if you're not aware of who that is, it's actually Cassandra Nova Xavier, the sister of Charles Xavier, Professor X. Now, in the comics, she's actually evil. She's bad. She's Charles Xavier's evil twin. And when they were in the womb together, he realized that she was evil due to his psychic powers, and he tried to kill her. They actually had a psychic battle in the womb. This report is coming from the insider Can We Get Some Toast, who reports in a tweet, I can confirm that Emma Corrin will be portraying Cassandra Nova in Deadpool 3. In the comics, Cassandra Nova is Charles Xavier's evil twin, who is his equal and exact opposite. He tried to telepathically kill her in the womb, but she survives the attack and spends her life rebuilding a body to enact her revenge against him. Now, what's really interesting about this that we're going to connect to the Illuminati from Multiverse of Madness is that Cassandra Nova might not actually be evil in Deadpool 3. Keep in mind, it's the multiverse. We're going to see variants who might not be anything like what they're like in the comics, or maybe even just in other universes. In fact, I hope, and I think a lot of fans are hoping, that that is what we see. See different versions of the same characters that we know, perhaps an evil Iron Man, an evil Captain America, Hydra Cap. I hope we get stuff like this, and it looks like Cassandra Nova might not be evil because somebody tweeted at insider Alex P from the Cosmic Circus asking, now there's information everywhere that Cassandra Nova will appear in Deadpool 3. Do I understand correctly that she wants to take revenge on Wanda for Xavier's death? In which Alex P replied, 838 wants revenge on 616. This kind of hints that Cassandra Nova is actually going to be sad, mad, upset, whatever you want to call it, about the death of her brother, Charles Xavier. And now she wants revenge on Wanda from the 616 universe, our main universe, for killing Charles Xavier and the rest of the Illuminati. And what's interesting is how all of this ties together, because perhaps the universe that we've been hearing about, that Deadpool and Wolverine visit, that is ruled by mutants, could actually be the 838 universe that we visited in Multiverse of Madness. Perhaps that is why we have the Illuminati in that universe instead of a normal Avengers team. And that's why we had the X-Men in that universe and not another universe. And to make it even more interesting, we found out after the fact that they almost included Magneto in that film. They actually wrote a scene that never made it into the movie. They did this for a lot of characters that never actually made the movie. For example, Daniel Craig, who of course played 007, was supposed to play Balder the Brave. This was confirmed by Elizabeth Olsen herself, and apparently there were a lot of other cameos 
that were in the script that never made it. But that could mean that the 838 universe is that universe that Deadpool and Wolverine will visit in which the Illuminati and the mutants and basically anybody with metahuman superpowers or just any superhero, they rule the planet. And they are now connecting two different issues into one, which I'm actually really fond of. 838 is going to seek revenge on the 616 universe. I'm sure this will be addressed not only in Deadpool 3, but outside of it as well. 616 Wanda, our main Wanda, dream walked into the 838 universe and killed the entire Illuminati team. And here's the really cool Fantastic Four rumor that we heard about. The Reed Richards that was killed in that universe, John Krasinski, his wife, because he did confirm that he has a wife and kids, could be Jessica Alba's Sue Storm, AKA the Invisible Woman. Now, obviously this would not be the exact same Sue Storm from the original Fantastic Four movies because she was obviously married to a different Mr. Fantastic. She of course would be a variant, much like Charles Xavier was a variant in Multiverse of Madness. It wasn't the same one from the original X-Men films. But according to a tweet from Night Gambit, who's a film and TV reporter and editor in chief for Night Edge Media, he tweeted out stating, pretty sure she's 838 Sue with a gif of Jessica Alba. Now we've heard that some of the original Fantastic Four members might return. That didn't necessarily mean that they would return as the exact same characters they were in the original movies, meaning they could be variants. And I would love for the original cast to return and be from that other universe. However, I would settle for having Jessica Alba return in any way, shape or form as Sue Storm and Chris Evans returning as Johnny Storm, AKA the Human Torch, because that is just a Deadpool joke waiting to happen about Chris Evans playing Captain America and the Human Torch, both Marvel characters. We know everybody wants that, and Chris Evans even said that he would like to come back as the Human Torch. When talking about him returning as Captain America, he thought it would be too soon if he even thought it would be a good idea at all, but would like to return as the Human Torch. If this universe is the 838 universe, perhaps Jessica Alba could return as the wife of now the late Mr. Fantastic, who was played by John Krasinski, and Chris Evans could return as the brother of the now single mother, Sue Storm. And since the Illuminati were made of the most powerful people, mutants, and heroes in that universe, yeah, you can bet 838 is probably pretty pissed at 616 for letting their Wanda get out of control. And they did seem to have pretty good knowledge on the multiverse, so I'm betting that they have the capabilities to jump multiverses, which means they could indeed one day come to Earth 616. This could be one of the reasons that incursions start to happen and the multiverse starts to essentially collapse. Yes, Kang and all of his variants are going to be a big part of it, but people like Deadpool and maybe characters from the 838 universe are going to also play a role in it. Plus, let's not forget about Loki and everything that he caused to happen by him and Sylvie killing He Who Remains. But that's all going to be addressed in Loki Season 2. But it looks like Professor Xavier's sister, Cassandra Nova, is going to seek revenge for the death of her brother. And perhaps all of the heroes of the A38 universe are going to seek revenge as well. So we could have a universal war here between the A38 universe and our main 616 universe. All of this should be going down in Deadpool 3 and hopefully will tie into other movies and maybe shows as well. But let us know what you think about all of this news about Deadpool 3 in the comments down below. Do you like where this is going? Do you not? Leave all your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like the video and of course subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all the latest MCU news. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well and as always thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.